Hey guys, this is all stream that and we are back today with another episode of Kerbal Space Program. And today I think we're going to try for a flyby of the moon. Uh, let me see what we have in research and development. Um, I think it's going to be a little tough to actually do an orbit of the moon. But we might be able to. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to see what the thud can do. Uh, we're going to test that out a little bit. Um, but I think for the most part we're going to be using the Thumper Solid Rocket Booster and the Terrier Liquid Fuel Engine. There's something else I wanted to take a look at. Um, the Poodle is the one I really want. That gives us more... Does that or does that give us less? That does give, give us a little bit more thrust, I think. Yes, that actually gives us quite a quite a bit more thrust in a vacuum at least. That'll give us 250. Whereas, yeah, whereas the terrier gives us uh, gives us 60. So I think this is I think the heavy rocketry is going to be the one that we're going to be saving for. But for now, that also gives us uh, some more. Uh, solid fuel boosters. So let's go ahead and build what should work for us here. So we want the command pod. We want the parachute. Um, we basically want to do this the way that we've been doing it with these where the pod is all that comes back so then we need the TD12 decoupler and underneath that we can put the science junior because we want to get we want to get close to the moon and if we can get close enough to do the science, we will. Okay, and let's put these... There. And there. We're going to put that there. Okay. So that's all the science that we want to take up. That should work. And now, okay, so let's see what we have here. So we don't want these because there's no oxygen in these, there's no liquid aquadizer. All there is in the um, liquid fuel fuselages is fuel, but we need to have oxidizer. So we're going to use a couple of the, what are those, the FLT 400s. I think if we use three of those, that should be fine. We will throw the terrier down there and let's get our overlays on. So that should lift. That's good. And I don't think we're going to put anything on these in the way of wings yet. Um, we need another decoupler down there. Okay, 
and this is going to be a tall one. That might have a little bit of trouble lifting off. We're gonna we're gonna see what that one can do before we do anything with this. Um, if we need to make some changes, then we can make those changes. Let's put those this way. So we will see how how high that gets us. And then we will see how close this gets us to orbit and a maneuver. So we've got that, decouple, and that one goes, decouple, and we're good. Okay. So <coughs> <coughs> So we're gonna see what this does for us. We are going to call this Moon Approach 1.0 and we will see what this can do for us. So let's save it and we will launch. We have our stability assist on, we have our thrusters all the way up. Okay, we're gonna go into our map. We're going to check our apoapsis. I think this is going to take us up high enough. Okay, I'm gonna leave that up there. That way I can see everything that we have. And it looks like we're gonna be fine. We are at 90,000. Let's get rid of those. Turn that on and we will immediately tip over to 90. And I wanna make sure that we stay on point with everything here. There we go. It was a little shaky, a little shakier than I would have liked. And let's aim down a little bit, at least for now. And what that does is that helps elongate our um, our line, so that way we uh, that way we can get it moving quicker. So we pretty much want to get in orbit as quickly as we can. So the quicker that we can get into orbit, the more fuel that we will have left over. And the more fuel that we have left over means the better chance of success that we have. When it comes to getting back. Our electrical charge could be a lot better. So we've used over half of it. Okay, 
And now we are just waiting until we reach orbit. Should be any second now we should see our periapsis start peeking out I hope And we are in orbit. And, well, there's Minmus. That's not where we're trying to go. We are trying to hit the moon. So, If we add a maneuver here, I don't think this is going to be where we need it. Okay. That will put us fairly close to the moon, I think. Maybe not close enough. If we go right here, Whoop, that's not what I want. The only thing I don't like about that is where that puts us when we're coming back. So, that and that should be okay that's a 51 second burn and that should put us fairly close and okay so a 51 second burn we want to burn at between 25 and 26 seconds to the node Let's make sure, yep, we are moving that way. And that should be okay. <clears throat> there we go, so we are Two minutes and 10 seconds away from the node, we want to burn towards the blue marker. And that should put us right with the moon. And I think we're probably going to do just a quick little flyby. 
and I will see you when, re when we reach 26 seconds to the node, or probably about 30 seconds to the node is when I'm going to actually start the burn, and I'll see you then. Okay, we've got about 20 seconds until we need to start burning. We need to be really careful not to hit the space bar. If we hit the space bar, then we screw everything up. I did do a quick save though, so we should be fine. So let's see how this is gonna go. This is pretty much where I wanted to be because it's going to basically keep us in a elongated orbit for as long as we need. It's going to keep our periapsis above 70,000 over Kerbin. Let's make sure we have that right. That I think is going to be okay. So let's go ahead and warp up here. Okay, 2,500 meters per second, we've broken that. We got a little bit of science for that. Let's see. What we can do here and that will not affect us too terribly there. And that's only a four second burn. We're going to go ahead and do that. And actually, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to try that now. There we go. Yep, and we're still well above. And we're just gonna keep warping. Okay, yep, so we're gonna go past that and then come back down. And we are almost at our moon encounter. Let's go ahead and warp there. Okay, we have not completed that yet. There we go, we've got our flyby, and let's go ahead and see if we can do these. There we go, we got 50 science for that. Twenty science for that. Twenty four science and sixteen science. 
So now that we have those, let's do an EVA with Jeb. Let's collect. Take the data there. Take that one. And we'll collect those. And I already did a crew report, didn't I? Or an EBA report? I did not, that's 16 science. So if we do that, he can store the experiments. We'll put him back on. And we will do a crew report. So, all we have to do is make it back. And there's the moon. There we go. So we have done it. So now we need to find our way back home. Um, we have a little bit of fuel left. Uh, about 52 units. So let's head back to the map. Okay, there we go, and we're just gonna let him go a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna go right down there, and we're gonna see what we can do about lowering our periapsis enough Because what we want to do is we want to we want to bring Jeb back home. Uh, let's do let's do a save. I think our no, our electrical charge is not done. Okay, so let's see what this is going to do. Oh, come on. No. Okay. That's not terrible. Um, Okay, I think this is going to work. So it might be... It might take us a while to get back, but we will get back. So let's... Go ahead and warp over here. So essentially what I'm going to do is once I hit the atmosphere, I'm going to start burning retrograde again. And hopefully what that will do is slow us down enough that we can pretty much um, not have to worry about going around again because I really don't want to do that. Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay, I'm going to speed up time just a little bit here. OK, 
Okay, let's see where that's gonna take us. Okay, so let's head back into the map. Okay, so that is completely done. Um, and let's spin. And the reason I'm spinning because a lot of times that will take a lot of the heat away. It's not ideal. And that's what the problem was. I did not have SAS on. Okay, we need to be facing that way. There we go. And it looks like we're gonna be heading back up. And I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure that this does not become a rescue mission. So that is the last thing I want is for this to to turn into a rescue mission. So essentially what we're doing is we're using the atmosphere every time we come around. Um, the apoapsis should be coming down every time, and so should the periapsis, I believe. Okay, we see that falling, we see that falling too. Okay, we have plenty of ablator left. So the ablator is what is on our um, heat shield. And that is what protects us from the heat. Okay, so we're basically just waiting for the approach to be right. And our electrical charge is done, so our SAS will not work. And we are headed back up, so as soon as we get above 70, do that, and yep, our SAS does not work.
so because it doesn't work we are essentially we should still be able to move it and it looks like it's a little difficult to control we should be able Yeah, we, sh we should be able to bring the periapsis down. Okay, so it is coming down a little bit. It's not coming down the way I want it to, but it is coming down. And so is our apoapsis. <clears throat> so it's all going to be fine. We're basically just waiting... We're basically just waiting until everything levels out here. So I wish I had some more... Uh, yeah, we've initiated the flyby of the moon. We've escaped the gravitational influence of Kerbin. And we've escaped the gravitational influence of the moon. So let's get rid of those. And there we go. The contract parameters have been complete. We can't even spin. There we go. So we really just want this to go as low as it can go. And we need it to get low. So and again, this is probably going to take a few orbits to get it done. Um, I'm not sure if we can... if we can transfer any of the data. Okay, I really don't want to, and the reason I don't want to is because It takes about half of the science away. Uh, the EVA report is good. Okay, yep, so we got rid of the EVA report. That's fine. It's at 56.5. I 
Okay, we really need that to go down. Um, I'm going to do a few more orbits and I will get back to you. Okay, so we've uh, done a couple more orbits and yeah, it's come down quite a bit. We're at 46,000 and 87,000 is our uh, apoapsis, so we should be pretty close. Let's go ahead and speed up and that should be okay. Um, where are we at right now? Okay, that's not too bad. Um, we don't have any electrical charge, so our lights still turn on though. But let's see what's gonna happen here. Uh, we are a little bottom heavy, which is good because that will automatically take us to the uh, Um, that will automatically face us prograde or not prograde retrograde it will face us backwards um, it looks as though we're going to be fine here so this should be our last uh, our last orbit really we are no longer in orbit. We are completely suborbital. Our apoapsis is below 70 and our periapsis has disappeared. We have plenty of ablator. I don't know where we're going to be landing. 
but we are on our way in. So we will soon have completed our first flyby of the moon. Um, let's turn the lights on so we can at least see a little bit here. And we can do that. And it's going to be a water landing, so that is absolutely perfect. Um, we're going to be getting a ton of science here. There we go. So let's recover the vessel and let's see what we got. That got us 148 science for a total of 198 science. So that is not bad at all. And I think Jeb is now a one star. So explore the moon. We got one of those complete. Actually, I think we got all of them complete. I'm pretty sure we did. Um, we got quite a bit of money off of that too. So let's go into the astronaut complex. Um, yeah, Jeb is a one star pilot. And so is Valentina. So we can now not only do the um, stability assist, but we can also hold on retro and prograde and also full vessel control without comnet access. So now we can go behind the moon without any comms and still be able to fly manually. And that's with both of them. So let's go into research and development. Um, everything is 90. We can grab two of these. I would like the struts. But I would also like the hitchhiker storage container. And I would also like those. Um, this right here we're definitely going to get because that gets us our um, that gets us our first solar panels. Uh, that gets us a better probodobodyne. I don't really like the um, the round one, and that also gets us the round batteries and some lights. So we're going to research electrics, and I think we're going to go with the hitchhiker storage container and that puts us down to 18 science so if we go into mission control that one is done the one for the moon is done um, transmitter recover scientific data from space around Kerbin We can have seven contracts, so let's grab that one. Um, science data from the surface of the moon, we'll grab that one. We may not get it right away. Uh, plant a flag on the moon and... They want us to orbit the moon. So that takes care of five out of the seven. And I think... Okay, these ones I don't really care too much for. Um, K-1 
Okay, so these guys want to orbit. Okay, we do have a couple of rescues as well. And we're going to get into the rescues a little bit later. But we are going to take this one. So basically just test the protective shell at the launch site. That's no problem. We'll do that at the beginning of the next episode. And... I'm also going to check those guys out real quick. Okay, it's not going to tell us where they are. So I don't know where they're at. Um, if I knew where they were at, it would make it so much easier to decide which one to rescue. But because it's not letting us know, uh, we are just going to end the episode right here. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Go ahead and follow me over on Twitch. We'll be streaming on there starting December 30th. I have that day off of work. And again, I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is All Stream That. Hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.